Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am shaking right now in excitement to bring you this video where we are going to be diving straight into the Bitcoin chart, going over the current technical analysis, our targets that we are having to the upside here on the Bitcoin chart, as well as some very important support levels that we must see hold now if we are to get our higher targets. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to absolutely love this video. I'm going to love doing it for you and let's get into the analysis. So picking straight up from yesterday's video, you know how, you know how the saying goes, this currently is a, this is chaos at the moment. This is totally random chaos that we are seeing on the charts until we add our technical analysis and then things suddenly click. They make sense. The light bulb goes off and we can make some money trading. So first of all, we obviously had this lovely parallel channel. Okay, so I'm going to really quickly for, you know, three to four minutes review this section of the price action so you can learn and educate yourself, empower yourself to make the next best trade. And then I'll go over what's happening right now with our current target, personally for me, to the upside here. So let's begin. Reviewing this section very briefly, we want to acknowledge what was happening yesterday. Okay, we obviously had a few signs of danger, danger, danger of the range where we were looking, you know, of that potential move to the downside, which obviously happened in the end. Uh, there was a few things to bear in mind. We obviously were rejecting from resistance. Okay. And we can see that we were coming in here around the PD vow. We had the daily open itself. We had some, you know, basically some high volume coming into resistance and, and getting rejections. So basically those levels yesterday really were blocking us from going any higher. Now we, we can really say, okay, we had a, you know, the low of the channel, but we've got into a bit of a, you know, a small-ish rally and we're basically getting blocked by our flu, few different levels of confluence that we have here. And price is basically getting blocked from going any higher. Okay, so we just have to acknowledge that at the time. Remember, we're happy to trade price if it's going down, we're happy to trade price when it's going up. We are open to trade every direction of the market because that's how you, um, you know, release those biases and you can, you know, start to make money in this market. There was obviously a few more reasons. This lovely 7.5 speed fan that I gave two days ago, I'd obviously also flipped into, uh, it's flipped into resistance, old support here, flipped into resistance. So we basically uh, could acknowledge, okay, yeah, fair enough. This resistance is holding right now and we can obviously look for a level to the downside. Obviously the confirmation on this, as I was posting on Twitter, was we had lost the channel we had back tested old channel support as resistance and for another move to the downside. So not only was the technicals while we were within the channel, you know, you know, favoring downside, we also then had the confirmation after we had lost that channel support, back tested it as resistance and got another move to the downside at the time hovering around $44,500. And if you paid attention to my video yesterday, which I really hope you did, <laughs> I was saying if we lose this channel and we head to the downside, I am looking for the demand zone. For me, that demand zone is where we will look for the next long opportunities. If you didn't understand what the demand zone meant or you haven't got that far in your progress of learning, well, this is why the Champions Group is very, very helpful, I suppose, because I give the exact level that I'm looking for. Since we have lost the old range, I am now simply waiting for lower on the Bitcoin chart. E.g., I have recognized we've lost the range low and, you know, I'm more than happy and comfortable to now wait for lower. Where am I waiting for? I'm waiting for my demand zone and that is $43,900. So I've made this very simple and clear to my team. I'm now waiting for lower and I'm waiting for $43,900 for me, the demand zone. I will highlight this for you, ladies and gentlemen, in case you cannot see it here, but we see this lovely block. And as you can see, we come straight into it and we find a lovely amount of support. What I will do is highlight you here with the lovely CC pool level. And as you can see, from waiting for 43,900, we obviously progress in the day and a little bit later in the afternoon, you know, actually a f quite a, you know, a few hours later, to be honest with you, we finally hit the level. OK, and we, you know, we, we start to get that bounce underway. So you see how this required a, a great amount of patience. We're talking quite, you know, several hours afterwards. OK, we're talking nearly six, seven hours after originally seeing 
the weakness and we're, you know kind of expecting lower then getting the confirmation we're going lower to then be able to wait and not buy this bounce which many people would have been faked into not even buying this bounce here which many people could have been faked into but waiting for our strong level of support or, or basically just waiting for the level I gave <laughs> to be honest with you I'm not sure how many other people in the world would have got this one but I managed to get it and it's basically having that patience no having that patience and then as we can see how this progresses it's such a hard life trading when i give a level and it's always respected <laughs> um it's very very hard life but as we can see in the end we obviously got the lovely retest and a and a great bounce to the upside so uh that obviously brings us up to where we are here so let me just review this very you know 30 seconds we saw a bit of signs of weakness off of the resistance we got our loss of the channel and we back tested it from there we are waiting for 40 i'm personally waiting for my demand zone 43 900 we come down 43,900. Personally, I did long this. And then what is absolutely brilliant about this one is you see this, how perfect this was. After 43,900 bounce, we back tested it to the exact, exact, exact dollar here. Yeah, you see this? Look at the lows up here. Low 43,900. Low 43,900 to the exact dollar. And that is at five to midnight. UK time and then look at that we retested the magic level we retest the CC pool level and that's where you get the big bounce underway an absolutely massive bounce we obviously had showing up here at this stage a CCV setup which was obviously giving us about 46,200 as the target and obviously that CCV target from here all the way up to 46,200, basically where we are now, that CCV target has been hit, by the way. So all in all, uh, if you if you paid a little bit of attention to my free YouTube video yesterday, we could have recognized where we were looking for for that demand zone. And if you needed that extra bit of help, I literally gave the exact level. And from here, we bounced, retested it perfectly and got our bounce underway. So naturally, yes, I am back in longs and I am looking for higher on the Bitcoin chart. So the question you might be thinking to yourself is, okay, where are we looking for next? Well, have a have a have a have a guess, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, yesterday I was saying we had only seven percent probabilities that Coinbase takes the high of our channel, and it doesn't happen on the best exchange by bit. So obviously we have great probabilities of, <laughs> in my opinion, of coming back above these highs. So naturally that's where I'm looking for. You can see I've got a little alert set here. We're obviously looking up for the uh, personally i'm just look, still looking up for these highs um you know i'm, I'm not going to short here personally and uh we can say that gives us our core our target zone up to around forty seven thousand three hundred to you know forty six thousand nine hundred we obviously are potentially have that deviation zone don't we where we could see a potential deviation or swing failure pattern uh you know e.g. a bearish sign before coming back in for a, a potential intraday short position no which has the potential of obviously a, a scope turn into a swing but should we just break out of this range and go higher and there is no rejection from this uh, deviation zone then naturally we could be looking up towards that 48,000 50,000 52,000 you know there's there's levels above us should we not get a deviation or swing for a pound from this range high okay I, I acknowledge currently we are seeing great strength in the es surprise 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 i loved it es we're seeing great strength in that again we're seeing obviously strength today in gold which is a bit a bit, bit, bit random but we're also seeing strength in silver as well so you know our commodities we're seeing you know we're seeing pretty good days for them uh es is pretty healthy and uh bitcoin you know i would put, would prefer to see this edge up to the top of the range just like i was saying yesterday should we see a sign of weakness i'm not going to react i'm not i'm not a blind bull i'm not just going to only look for longs should we see a sign of weakness naturally i can start to hedge myself at the very least okay and prepare for downside so do not think i'm a permanent bull i'm more than happy to trade weakness should we get it it's just at the moment we absolutely don't have it okay if we come down onto the five minute chart we can also see that old channel was resistance and we also flipped it absolutely perfectly into support here middle of the channel 
slight pullback for 10 minutes and through. So we can acknowledge we still have the middle of the channel here as support, which is basically about 45,800. And then we obviously have the uh, channel low still as support. Should we revisit the low again, we can still absolutely trade that channel. And obviously that resistance is, is around $47,000, just, just, just a Above and below, this is obviously a zone. Don't want to look at it as an exact dollar. We have this zone up here of our next resistance. Should we, you know, prefer to trade the charts, uh, which exactly is exactly what I'm going to be doing. Um, and yeah, th this is what we kind of got going on then, ladies and gentlemen. And um, yeah, I, I end you with one funny, funny thought before we end. Obviously, I was saying here, I prefer, I personally longed literally the exact low of this wick. And then we can see we had the retest. Uh, how many hours later was this retest in total? Six hours later. So plenty of time for people <laughs> to, to acknowledge what we had going on here. But six hours later, we got the retest. And I will generally um, say the retests are the much safer trades. And then people will question, so Daniel, why do you take the aggressive trades? Why do you not wait for these confirmations? Why are you, why are you able to trade such aggressively? I'll give you some food for thought with this comment. One question I've had, as Daniel will always say, wait for the level to reclaim, but later will post the money short buying or selling the absolute high or low. And this is what I say, ladies and gentlemen, do as I say, not as I do. The difference is I have 900 million to throw around at the fairgrounds. 900 million to throw around at the fairground is how we end up with setups such as this, where levels being given are respected to the exact dollar time and time and time and time again. And that is why I love to say, CC Paul, send their regards. Not the first time you've seen a level given respected to the dollar, and it certainly will not be the last. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you have really enjoyed this video today. Obviously, I've talked you through educationally the signs to look for here, what we were looking for for our demand zone, how we got the perfect retest of that. So my friends could also get in at the fairground with me. And we've obviously made insane profit to the upside. For me personally, it's a lovely take profit one off of the CCV setup target, which was again 46,215 to be precise. That target has obviously been hit. We can hit a take profit one, move the stop loss up into profits really now. And, you know, still, in my opinion, look for higher on the Bitcoin chart. Should we see a sign of weakness? I'm open to changing my perspective. Uh, or should we see a rejection? I'm obviously open to taking shorts. Um, you know, I'm happy to trade this market anyway. It's, uh, you know, basically I just trade for the highest probabilities. I am neither a permanent neither a permanent bear. I will just simply trade the charts and, you know, safe to say, make maybe too much money. <laughs> That's for you to decide. But not only me, obviously, I mean, people have been absolutely killing it. People are just learning so much and i mean i love to see this people are absolutely smashing it with me look at this guy one from this morning total realized pnl seventeen thousand dollars since joining the group i mean that is just that's what i love to see people absolutely smashing it well done and if you want to see more if you want to see obviously the live updates i do my next live stream for the members on sunday sunday i'll be obviously going through my next champions live stream trade of the week and uh yes yeah, so if you want to see more chartchampions.com where you get all the educational material as well as you know insights like this in the time before it's hit before it happens um you know you get to know those magic levels i suppose if that's of interest to you you know what to do chartchampions.com smash the likes everybody and of course i have to end with the disclaimer here i am not a financial advisor everything i go through in these videos are for the edutainment educational reasons only i'm here to help you learn okay i'm here to help empower yourself but I'm not here to tell you what to do with your money. For that, you've got to understand and read the legal disclaimer. So with that end, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, smash that like button. If you want to see me go live for a free public video, smash the likes, give some uh, give some positive comments, and I will, I will say hello to you all and, and talk you through some analysis. Hope you have a brilliant, brilliant day. I'm going to enjoy myself trading. And yeah, let's, let's go back and absolutely smash it. I love being the best. CC Paul sends their regards. And have a brilliant day. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>